how are you? My battery's dying. I can see it flashing right now. So I'm gonna go get a new battery and then we're gonna try this again. What happened? I'm sorry if you can hear background noise. John is working in the backyard. <laughs> so he is, um, he's building us a, some shade. I don't know if it's a gazebo or a pergola and I'm not even sure what the difference is. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Fiber Love Diary. I'm Trish, if we haven't met, and if we have met, welcome back. This is gonna be like half of a video that I'll have to film the rest later, and it's because I have orders. I got a bunch of orders, actually. Here's a couple right here. That have to go to the post office, so I wanna mail my mom's box of sock yarn. I talked to you guys about this, I don't know, a couple months ago or weeks ago, I don't know. She injured her back a while ago, and so she um, isn't as like go, go, go as she would like to be, and so she's been knitting tons of socks. I sent her a box of sock yarn, I think it was like July last year, but that could be wrong, and it was like a 16 pound box. It was more than two feet tall because it had come here with a two foot wide piece of foam like upholstery foam rolled up inside it i had crammed it full she said when she opened it it was like Poof, which of course you know she's finished it and she actually has a friend in arizona where she lives that has given her a bunch more hanks of sock yarn i can't remember how many she told me but she did tell me a bunch and so since we found that out that she was out every time i dye yarn i've been putting some aside for her i've been trying a bunch of new bases i thought because a lot of you were like wait what how much did you send her and you kind of wanted to see what i sent i thought i'd just show you quickly what i'm sending her this time so this time we dyed all of it let oh almost all of it i did get a crazy deal at hobby lobby on some clearance yarn like I said, I'm trying some different bases. So I dyed her five colors, just like solids of a base that has gold sparkles in it. I hope you can see it. I can't actually see myself. And I just dyed, they're not, they're like a semi-solid. They purposely, there are actually two colors in every one of these. So I guess it's a tonal. So I did all these on a new base. And I kept some, so I'll be trying it. I should take these all out, hang on. I'm gonna get them mixed up to, to you know I will, but that's okay too. Okay, so these can go in. All right. So this one is one that John dyed, it's called Beach Umbrella. I did rewind one and that's what it looks like rewound. This There's one left in the shop I think and that's, no there's a couple left in the shop. That's this one. So this one is one that I dyed called Labyrinth. There is one left in the shop. This is what it looks like un, like rewound. I just do one for pictures, but it's a lot of work so I don't do it all the time. I got these at Hobby Lobby, 75% off. They are Croy. I like those like more hard wearing ones. Got her two of those. I missed most of that sale. It was like nothing on sale, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then everything was gone in like no time. So this is one John did. I have been calling it Pink Pearl, but it also has like gold and green and stuff on it. Um, this is one. I think I did. I'm not sure. This is what it looks like rewound. It, no, I think John did do this one. It's Arizona Sunset. This is the rewound one. These are some of the Valentine colorways I did. This is on the Romney sock yarn that I, I'm trying out. This is, I can't remember, Sweetheart maybe? And then this one, I don't even remember the name. John just came in. I accidentally locked him out because I shut all the doors to keep the noise out. Sorry. This one's called Neon Gecko. This is what it looks like rewound. There is still, I guess, one in the shop because it's this one. Stay in focus, can you? This one's called Night Vineyard. This is what it looks like rewound. So she's getting one of those. These are all gone. I cannot even remember the name of these. I think it was Reef. 
This one's called Tiger Tiger. If you are an English lit fan, you will know what that means. And then this is it rewound um, again. I think this is the last one in the shop. They've been going really quickly. This is a Hobby Lobby clearance one. It's Yarn B. I don't even know if they're doing this colorway again, but it's called Hibiscus Palm. Then, oh gosh, what was the name of this? It's it's all gone. It went so fast, I can't remember. It's really cool though, right? And then um, this one, I think was called Deep Dive, Deep Reef, Dark Reef. I can't remember, it was something watery. And then this was, Crimson King, Crimson King, King Crimson. I don't know, John did this one, so he named them. It's um, bamboo and wool. And I guess I had three of these. I did, I got three of these. Cause I mean, a lot of you guys will know, if you buy these ones and you don't make a huge sock, you can get like two pairs out of three balls. So uh, that's all of them for my mom's box of yarn. I think she's gonna like it. I think basically we're just gonna send her one a little more frequently and it won't be as big. I have no, I didn't even count. Two, four, six, eight, wow, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, and then the, the Croy. So, and she's gonna give me some feedback on some of those, <sighs> those new ones I'm using, those new ones I'm dying. I mean, I've just been narrowing it down. I've got a couple different suppliers where I buy like my, my bare undyed stock. I have favorites, but I know that the whole world isn't gonna love my favorites the best too so I've just been trying out other ones to see what ones I like and all that kind of stuff Mother's Day is Sunday it's Friday um, so it won't get to her quite in time but she already got her Mother's Day present actually I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do a project update because I have a lot of stuff I finished <laughs> there's still a lot of those sock yarns you just saw in the shop too so if you love them you better grab them they're gonna go quick now <laughs> I'll be back. I'm going to show you guys where my projects are right now. <laughs> oh, donkey, my buddy. Oh my God, crap is raining down on me. How are you? This is the rest of the video. I'm gonna film the rest of the video where I show you all the projects. I do have to set aside all the socks that I knit to uh, test knit them for Super Sock World Championship because I'm not allowed to show them until like the patterns are released, which is totally cool. I am literally just gonna go through this in like no order, just kind of the order it is here and it is all in a pile. Hang on, let me tilt you down, I'll show you. It's just all in this big pile right here. That's actually something I need to mail, but. Like my Instagram and stuff, my, my camera roll to see if I missed anything. I probably did, because I wasn't as conscientious as I usually am about <laughs> um sorry he just makes me laugh about setting aside finished stuff like I I usually do that and this time I threw stuff on the shelf I you know I sold stuff I whatever so I'm gonna try and get through everything but we're gonna start with something I just finished recently in March oh I guess I have to weave an end in I thought I had all the ends in in March, my stepson asked for a sweater. He sent me a picture. This is the very last end in the back of the neck. He sent me a picture. If I can find the picture on my phone, I'll actually insert it. And he said, this, you know, the sweater I want, I would like it to be in blue, but blah, blah, a little bit more of a gray blue than what's pictures. I spent like two weeks trying to find the perfect pattern because I was thinking I can recreate it, but that's gonna take me longer. Um, <laughs> after two weeks went by, I was trying to find the perfect pattern and the perfect yarn. And I finally sent him a picture of Dreams of Aaron from Garn Studio, which is also known as a drops pattern. I said, is this close enough? And he was like, is it different at all? It is different a little bit, but he can't see it, which makes sense. I mean, if I looked at a machine because he's a mechanical guy, 
if I looked at a machine, I'd be like, is that different from this one? And he would be like, obviously it's different because he would see the differences. I was like, oh, phew, thank goodness, because I've knit quite a few drops patterns before and I don't have trouble with them. They are written in a more, a style that was more common when I was learning to knit as a kid. It's not hard for me to understand. Let's just put it that way. Also, they have very specific schematics on those patterns, which I feel clarifies a lot of things for me as well. And not all patterns have those very specific schematics. He is the same size as John, but he is like narrower through the shoulders, just skinnier overall. Of course, he's in his 20s. I'm sure John was probably the same size when he was in his 20s. I didn't know him then. And I love a saddle shoulder. So I this is the sweater I knit him. It turned out so nice. Of course I changed it because in the pattern, all these um, four stitch cables all would turn the same way. And I thought that was weird. I made them mirror each other. I don't like that. I guess I'm weird that way, but I always feel like those things should mirror each other instead of like all going this way and then on this side also all going this way. So he's also six foot three, four, right around where John is. And um, that means his arms are long, of course. And on a saddle shoulder, they go, <laughs> this is his whole, look at the sleeve, okay? This whole sleeve, <laughs> But then you come up the sleeve cap and you actually knit, wow, this is a big wide saddle shoulder. You knit this whole piece right here that comes all the way up to the neck and then there is a portion of it that actually goes around behind the neck. So you are essentially knitting a sleeve from the, um, from the wrist all the way to the middle of the back of the neck. It is so long, this sleeve, but the sweater is beautiful. I think it's gonna fit him really, really nicely and look great on him. It's not blocked yet. That will make a slight difference in how like the cables look opened up, but this is what the back looks like. And it is so cool, isn't it? I love this sweater. I was laughing because last year too, I think it was last year, he asked me for a sweater in March. And by the time I get the yarn and you know, figure out what the pattern's gonna be and knit the whole thing. It's like getting too warm to wear a sweater like that. So it kind of cracks me up, but hey, there'll always be next winter. And that is Dylan's Dreams of Aaron sweater. I'll put a link in. Of course, I just threw a sock on the floor. Now I'm gonna go through socks. I, I'll just put the names of them on the screen because some of them I can remember and some of them I can't. So this is the qualifier for Sock Madness, which by the way, I'm out of. We'll get to the one that, Zoomies. We'll get to the one that um, I guess got me, I don't want to say kicked out. That's not really right because I could have fixed it. I didn't want to fix it. So uh, whatever you want to say. The one that got me out, but we're not there yet. So, okay. So this is the first one. Actually, what I should do probably is this little girl flying away with her balloons. Let me actually put it sideways on this thing. It is Intarsia Knit in the Round. I guess I should, let me pull it down. I mean, I did talk about this in a previous video. Um, at the time I thought, well, I'll never do that again. No way, but I feel like I also kind of got the rhythm of it. So it's possible it could happen again. And it did turn out really cool. I mean, who has a sock like this unless they were in Sock Madness 2023? pretty much nobody. The other one just has different color balloons, but it's the same pattern. And I mirrored them. You did, you could mirror them. You did not have to. I did. So next are some socks for me. Oh my gosh. It's chaos at my house. <laughs> um, I dyed this yarn. You want to play? Go outside. This is one that I dyed and it was a new base for me. It's a silk and wool base. I wanted to knit a pair so I could test it out and see how I liked it. I love it. Uh, I think they're all sold already, but it will be coming back because I like this base so much. It's a, was Merino and Tussa silk base. So really liked it. These are for me. I have to get rid of a pair of socks if I keep a pair of socks, but I will give it to Goodwill, so. There's 
so many socks in here. Holy cow. Is this a sock man this pattern? What is this from? Yes. Is it? I guess I have to look. So, okay, next, I can't even remember why I knit these. If these are Sock Madness, maybe? Maybe these are from Super Sock last year? Honestly, I don't know. How long has it been since I did a project thing? This one is next. This is the, I think this was from Super Sock last year. It is an Alice in Wonderland themed yarn. And I think it was just called Through the Looking Glass. Really pretty, right? Kind of big these turned out. The funny thing is you take them off and they look like they're tiny, <laughs> like little skinny things, but they're big. This is from Sock Madness this year. This one has beads made from Knit Picks. I think this is a Stroll Tonal and I can't remember the color, but the color will be in the project page, which I'll link below. Really kind of cool with all these um, twisted kind of cables. Really, it was a pretty sock, but I had a really hard time. I can't remember exactly what it was, but where, where in the pattern it was, but there was a point where the beginning of the row shifts and it confused me, so I had to knit these a couple times. Okay, these are from this year still. These are Sock Madness as well. They're mosaic knit with three colors which is not hard. It sounds hard, it's not difficult, but keeping track of all three balls of yarn isn't my favorite really, but it did turn out really cool. These will fit me. I don't know if I'll keep them or if I'll give them away as a gift, but they're pretty. Um, first of all, these are humongous. They are called The Worst Way. They came out huge and other people were saying the same thing. It's so funny because every time this happens to me, I'm like, what is wrong with my knitting? why are these socks so humongous but then it's oh it's never just me so i don't know why i always assume that it's me but whatever so on these socks you knit from the top down to like right here you knit from the toe up to here and then you knit flat to here so you connect the top and the bottom right here then you pick up well yeah you pick up or we still pick them up. There's there's live stitches here, there's live stitches here. You pick those up and then you pick stitches up in a like flap in between and you knit around in a circle and then you knit this heel on. Okay, so no problem. That was not a problem. Like doing this, it actually went really fast, but again, they kept changing where this, the beginning of the row was and I got messed up, I think, and what I was supposed to do, they're short rows. They're short rows right here. And they were supposed to go this way instead of this way, if that makes sense. They told me that it was wrong. I We were on a walk with the dogs in the um, woods. Like there's like a wooded park down here. And I spoke <laughs> my return email into my phone. And I said, I know these aren't correct but I like them or I'm keeping them, something like that. Meaning I'm not gonna go on and I'm not gonna try to fix them because I did have plenty of time to fix them. I was at least the first one on my team that time. And my phone only put, I know these are correct. I know they aren't correct. I feel like an idiot. I didn't bother emailing them back to correct myself because I thought they get tons. I mean, the barrage of messages at that point is like overwhelming, I'm sure. So. I didn't correct it, but in my mind, I'm like, oh, they probably think I'm the biggest idiot, but that's okay. They wouldn't be the first, right? I cannot stand these. I'm literally throwing them away. They're huge. And now when I say, like Shaq could wear these, okay? It's huge. So I'm throwing them away right now. I just threw that one away. And I feel great about it, honestly. <sighs> this was the first pair of Sock Madness this year. I cannot remember the name of this one either different construction again and i loved this one see this seam you knit the whole green sock flat but it is 
not a big rectangle it's actually a parallelogram it's like skewed to one side and then you sew it together uh, let me see you sew it together with this seam that's diagonal right and then you knit you pick up and knit the toe and the heels didn't these turn out really cute i would say these are the only pair that i liked this year a lot these are there's also sock madness they kind of have a winnie the pooh slash honeybee theme it um has all these little buzzing bees on it and all the honeycombs and this is supposed to be like his little shirt with bees all over it. I didn't get it. But that's okay. Because this, wait, where is it? Oh, right here. This is like the little collar part of his shirt. I don't know. It's probably pretty hard to see. But um, I did like how the little bees turned out. And I think I may do that again sometime on a different sock. Am I done? No. These are really pretty. I'm getting to the part of the pile where these were maybe a year ago. I'm pretty sure these were from Super Sock last year. They are mosaic pattern sock. Um, I used a rainbow croy with a black, I think it was croy, black knit pick stroll for these. They are mosaic, so it's actually really easy to knit. I love them. I'm pretty sure these are from Super Sock last year as well. Okay, so here, this one is knit with Knit Pick Stroll in Duchess Heather, I believe. Really, really cool pattern. I love how kind of organic this part looks right here. And then it has this kind of slip stitch, uh, knit through the back loop cable. It's really pretty. I think these were from Super Sock last year as well. So this one is... Gosh, I think it might have been a warm up from last year. Maybe it was the qualifier. I can't even remember. Too long ago. Um, knit with, oh, Perth. Queensland Perth. I don't, the colorway I don't remember. This was the qualifier, so that must have been a warm up. So this is where I learned a ladder bag jacquard. Sometimes you just gotta talk it out, right? So it's got a bicycle, they are, um, up on the top and I did two completely different colors because I was trying to use up stuff in my scrap bin. None of this came from a brand new Hank and aren't they so beautiful. So these were the qualifi qualifier last year. I knit a sweater for our new grandson. And I knit Mr. Fiber Love Diary, a Belfast cardigan. He has worn it a lot. He really seems to like it and it looks great on him. I'm sure I missed some spinning, but the good thing is you usually do get to see it in videos as I go. So sorry if I missed some, I don't know. I also spin a lot in the lives while we're just like hanging out and chatting. So a lot of times you see those too. In fact, this is one that I spun mostly during the lives. It was called Polywog, I think. It is silk and BFL and a lot of you guys really liked it while I was spinning it. I think Alice was the one who was like, I need that when you're done. It is 730 yards. It's like a heavier lace weight. It's definitely finer than fingering weight. I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. It is enough for a whole shawl. So I may knit myself a shawl out of this. Although I feel this is not a great color for me. It's wool that we got from Paradise. I think this one was, oh gosh, I'll have to look up what the wool was. So this is one I spun really fine as well. I will look back and put it on the screen or put a link to the unboxing or something. I dyed it because I want to make a shawl with it. It is a boo knit shawl and I bought beads already. So I really think this will make a, such a pretty shawl. I have 608 yards. Really happy with it. It's been a while since I finished it. That's why I can't remember the fiber content. This is BFL that came in the Paradise package, oh gosh, months ago. And I spun it pretty much right away. I dye this exact BFL base for my shop all the time. A lot of you have bought it. I don't think I have any dyed in the shop right now. 
it was just two ounces it's a really so 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 soft and squishy and i got 176 yards i would say it's like maybe sport weight it is very very pretty i don't know what it'll be if you remember months ago i made a gradient bat on my drum carter with a braid i split it all up and um, put it like in order by color and then carded it into a gradient bat and I spun it into this yarn. I don't think I already showed you guys this. It is Corydale and it's called Still Trying because I was trying to get a rose gold color and I was still trying because it was wrong. Uh, and it goes all the way from the lightest shade of the pink through kind of the ash gray to the charcoal gray. It's turned out really, really nice. 516 yards so it's got to be around fingering weight maybe even a little bit light this one I don't know because it's the gradient I feel like you know it, it does change what you can knit with it it's not like I want to knit a hat and a pair of mittens or something because you know the gradient is just gonna like change <laughs> throughout each thing it's not they're not gonna match each other essentially sometimes I just spin to spin this was from a Paradise package as well. Gosh, I did spin a bunch of them this year. I don't recall what it's called, but I will look it up. It is just a tweed, like a viscous tweed that has mostly red and gold tweed in it with the green yarn. I was thinking that it would make some more really nice Christmas trees for my mantle. If you've been here for a couple of years, you know every year I add just a couple Christmas trees that are knitted to my mantle. I think maybe two years ago, I also made a, um, a cozy for my teapot. I think it will make perfect ones. I know it's not only good for a Christmas tree. I'm sure it's wonderful for like many other garments, but it's very Christmassy to me. This is another Paradise package. This just got spun. So you'll probably remember this. They sent us some um, black, I think it was, BFL it was either BFL or Corydale and then they sent us these locks from I can't remember Compass Moon from Compass Moon so I used my blending board to make basically bats for this and then I spun them with the locks in and auto wrapped with embroidery thread that is in kind of a hot pink color I'm gonna come in really close I think I'm gonna weave with this but also I had this idea to kind of like crochet around it and capture it in a crocheted item maybe um, so I might do a bag or something it's just sort of rolling around in my head that's how it, my brain works okay one more hank of yarn and then a really big project. This is a thicker yarn that I spun from a bat that I got from Flint City Fiber Works. That's our Carrie Chapman's company. And I bought it from her in Ann Arbor at their Fiber Expo. I got 124 yards out of it. I was trying to spin thicker. This is a long time spinning project for me. I'm actually working on another long time spinning project right now on my match list, but Remember the thin that came from Maryfield, one of them, and it was partially gray and I dyed it for a sweater to match my grand dog, Ava. Remember that? This is it. I believe I have about 1,200 or 1,300 yards, something like that. It turned out so, 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 so pretty. There is some blue in parts of it. There is some almost black in parts of it. Just turned out to be such a pretty yarn. I can't wait to wear it. Like, I feel like it's gonna be a good color. That green, not a good color. This color, a good color. I have not picked a pattern yet. Very happy. And here's the whole bag I'll show you. As soon as I finish Berlin Soft, which is the current cabled cardigan I'm working on and I'm close to the hem which means like after that it's just sleeves and collar I know it sounds like yeah whatever just sleeves and collar but when you have knit the whole entire body of a sweater and it's a long sweater then all of a sudden the sleeves and the collar you can just whip through those after that I'll be looking for a pattern for this thank you for joining me while I go through my projects I will see you Sunday for the live and then next Tuesday for a new video have a great week Thanks, I love you, bye.